today, me and Reese are slowly, slowly taking the caravan to Fakatane to get fixed because there's quite a few things wrong with the caravan. The main thing is an insurance job because a ladder accidentally fell onto the side of the caravan and pierced through the aluminium. It actually took quite a long time going through my insurance and finding a repair company and then the slow, slow process of being approved to go ahead. But <laughs> next week they can finally start. And while it's there, I've got a few more jobs for them to fix for myself as well. Like the kitchen bench has been pulling away from the side of the caravan and it's reached the point where Hayden doesn't feel comfortable trying to fix it himself and I haven't been able to jiggle it back into place. I... <laughs> Let's get the professionals to try. <laughs> These are the, the parts that have been falling out, all the screws. Because it, it all seems to have twisted as well. And I've asked them to look into this disgusting sink the mold is embedded in I just don't know how to get rid of it so they, they didn't sound particularly hopeful on the phone about this job it might be that I just need to try and replace that but I haven't found any success so far in finding the shape in New Zealand and a, a last minute addition this has started to separate we're going to have to tape it for the drive I think I also asked them to do a leak check, just for peace of mind because that's one of the biggest concerns of a caravan owner. To be honest, I'm, just, I'm not looking forward to this drive at all because of the ute. I did take it to the mechanics, they did connect, disconnect the four-wheel drive, but like, what if it's something else? There is something weird going on because the four-wheel drive light seems to be on most of the time. You have to like turn the ute off and turn it back on and once in a while it doesn't the light doesn't show so it's, it's not fixed <laughs> yeah i'm just i'm just nervous because there's a few big hills and it's quite far away from here and <laughs> we'll see Hayden fixed. It's perfect. Yeah, nah. nah. <laughs> Poor caravan. And we're off. Do you know where? And the caravan survived the drive here. The car did well, so I'm hoping that that problem's been fixed. It had to do with the four-wheel drive, and now that we've disconnected it, hopefully that problem's solved. Uh, the only thing with the caravan is this, this fell out. It normally closes this area, but that's not a biggie. That's not too bad. Good morning. We both slept well, although Reese decided to wake up at 5.30, so we've been up for ages. It's just past 8 now, and we're starting to pack up the caravan, ready to take it to be repaired.
When I reached the boom gate, it wouldn't open. I gave him a call from the car and turns out it's been a bit temperamental. So I got some early morning reversing to wake me up. I've just driven 10 minutes down the road to where the caravan's being repaired. First impressions, I like that it was quite easy to get to and great parking at the entrance while you fluff around having a chat with them. But I have to wake up Reese. he fell asleep as soon as we started off. Funnily enough, I'm not dropping off the caravan here, it's going straight to a panel beaters, so I'm going to follow Tony. And uh, yeah, take it to their panel bed. <laughs> Cooking outside, not the best weather for it. Hayden left this morning for his first event. We won't be seeing him for a while. And so this is my first night cooking without the caravan. And I miss Hayden, but I really miss my caravan. <laughs> it's just, nothing's really set up. So I couldn't start the barbecue. Andrew had to hunt for some matches to get it going. We don't really have a proper place to wash. For some reason, Hayden's sink way down at the container area is not working. Everything always seems to stop working when he's not here. And so we've just got this random bowl on the table for now. I just, yeah, just to start dinner, I had to walk three times down to the containers, back and forth, back and forth. It's been raining heavily, there was even a bit of hail. I just, I couldn't find the cutlery, the plates are dirty. It's just, you know, it's just, things are not set up like normal, and so everything takes a bit more effort, and I'm not enjoying it particularly. <laughs> I miss my caravan, and hate them. It's been a couple of days and I will admit that it's been getting easier. I'm not as grumpy as I was that first night. I think we're getting into a bit of a routine, getting kind of used to the quirks. What I am struggling with is when it's raining because everything is outside. So yeah, I'll show you, show you how I'm brushing my teeth right now. Thank <laughs> you. 